Hi, I'm PJ Montavish and welcome back to another DCG tutorial. So, uh, as you can see, we're doing another short question, and this is question A4 from the 2015 paper. So, let's read through it. The graphic below shows the Derry Peace Bridge, which contains two inclined pylons supporting a cable structure. The two pylons are represented by the skew lines A, B, and C, D on the right. So, part A determine the projections of the shortest horizontal line between the two skew lines. And B, determine and indicate in degrees the true angle between this horizontal line and the vertical plane. Okay, so skew lines question. Uh, nice to see it as a short question. Uh, so part A, we have our two skew lines here, A, B, and C, D, uh, plan elevation, and so determine the direction of the shortest horizontal line between the skew lines. So first thing we do is we have to make a plane, we have to make a lamina out of uh, these two lines here. So you need to figure it out first, don't just rush into it. So if I brought CD over to point B and drew a line out from A, it would give me a new point, bring that down over here somewhere. So I bring CD over to B, we'd meet it, and that'll give me a point A. So I think we might have to go with that. So bring your angle of CD over to the edge of the other skew line, so in this case point B, so we going to draw that straight up. Now what we need to make that lamina is a line that's parallel to the XY line, so in this case from A draw a line parallel, parallel to the XY line, I give a new point there and we'll call that point E. Okay, by bringing E straight down and repeating the same process so bring CD over to B, we'll find a uh, true length of that line in plan. So bring CD over to point B. Bring CD bring over to point B. That will give me my point E. And we'll join E back to A and that will give me a true length. This is our true length. Okay, so if that's our true length. Now we can project our skew lines at that angle and get our heights from the XY line up and give us our first auxiliary view. Okay, so I'm just going to use my adjustable set screw. Okay, put in a new XY line. I'm going to save a bit of room but just putting it in nice and close here. So this is our X1, Y1. And not only that, you're going to be, you're projecting from the plan, therefore you've got to get a height from the elevation. So again, to save a bit of room, I'm just going to bring that X, Y line up to my closest point, in this case point D. And that's going to be my data line. So that means point D1 is on the X1, Y1. Bring this all straight down to the dot and just so I get an accurate height. B is going to be tiny. Now that's your skew lines again, so we can draw them in strong. Now for skew lines for this section on, you only need your A, B, and C, D original points. Point E in the elevation plan, that was just to find the true length. After that, you ignore it, okay? So that's the first auxiliary view. Now, what we do from here on out depends on what they asked for, okay? So determine the projections of the shortest horizontal line between the two skew lines. So if the shortest horizontal line, that means we need to project our second auxiliary view the same angle as our X1, Y1, okay? So in order for our line to be horizontal. So project your points A, B, C, D parallel to the X1, Y1. Now, so if you're projecting from this auxiliary view, you work from the X1 line back. So we have from the X1, Y1 back to the plan. There isn't too much room to be saved there if you put in that in line. So let's just put in, get your heights from the X1, Y1 back to your points and mark them in from your X2, Y2.
So if we join them up now here in plan, or sorry, in the still review, they should cross. So again, it's A, B, and C, D. So join in C, D, and A, B. And where they cross in here is your shortest horizontal distance. And that point represents a line. So if we bring that point projected back now from one view to the other using the correct angles, you will see the shortest horizontal distance in the first auxiliary view, in the plan, and then in the elevation. Okay? So project the first one back, same angle as x1, y1. So project this point back, same angle. And you'll see their line joining those two skew lines. Okay, it's these two points in then that we bring back. So that's the point where it crosses AB. This point where it crosses CD. Bring that back. So you project them back now. So you bring it down here. And then you're bringing it this direction. Now we're to cross there, bring it back up to the elevation. And it should give you a horizontal line. Okay, and that's your shortest horizontal distance. Now, part is part A done. Part B, determine and indicate in degrees the true angle between this horizontal line and the vertical plane. Okay, so this is our shortest line here, or our shortest horizontal uh, distance between them. It's parallel to the XY line, because it's horizontal, okay, the horizontal uh, plane. And I want to find the angle between it and the vertical plane. Okay, so if this is horizontal here in our elevation, then that's a true length in plan. And that means there is no variation in angle as you see in the elevation, it's straight. So if it's straight then, we can just extend that back to the hits XY line, because XY line is your vertical plane in plan. Okay, it's one represents vertical plane and plan. So if you lightly put some like, blue maybe and measure the angle in there we can indicate the true angle, true inclination of it to the vertical plane. Okay, so measure with your protractor and I got thirty five degrees. Okay, so that must be it now, because that's your vertical plane. This is your line and it wants to see the angle it makes to the vertical plane, so that has to be it there. So that is, well according to my measurement, you might be slightly different between maybe 34, 36 degrees, but depending on how accurate you were and so on. Okay, but that is the question done. So I hope that looks similar to what you did in the exam. Uh, if this helped, leave a like and we'll see you in the next one. Okay, thank you and good luck.